Hello people on the internet, the Rocket 360 here and I'm back for another review. And today we're reviewing the Transformers Studio Series Core Class Rise of the Beast Freezar. Now I can't really remember if I review this guy because sometimes I do forget what I review and stuff. So um I mean there's some I remember, there's others I don't remember. So I I have a feeling I did review him by check back my video. I did not see any review, so I I don't think I ever review him, so I might actually check back just in case. But anyways I forgot when did I get him and stuff or what store I got him so um anyways I don't know if he's packaging or anything so um no better do he we can start stuff shall we so here we got Freezar and he's um gun mode and stuff so and again if you guys know um these guys never transform the movie and stuff so um they had to find a way to make him transform so um yeah um this is the gun mode and stuff so is it it's literally a gun turret you got, uh, like hold on let me just do something real quick. To um, try to like, I don't think these guns were ever in the movie and stuff. I don't remember. Maybe they're in the background. I'm not sure. But um, if you guys like, hold on. Let me just. You can make battle trap pull it like a gun turret. Come something like in Halo almost. So yeah. But yeah, anyways. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the gun turret is like okay and stuff. Like um, I think it's supposed to be like this, but um, but um, there's not really much to talk about. So um, the gun turret right there, the super paint looks nice and stuff. I do like this detail right here and stuff. So it looks nice. The scope in the back looks amazing, like the detail they did and stuff. So I do love that and stuff. So the the paint right here looks amazing and stuff. So yeah, this here is the literally the arms and the leg. Well, no, it's literally the two arms right here and stuff so tack together it's supposed to be the stand thing and stuff but it barely look like it and stuff so it's supposed to like hold i mean stand the weapon and stuff so detail like i'm not really gonna talk about it but i'm also gonna talk about robo mode and stuff so um in the back not really much in the back and stuff well this is supposed to be the holder of the weapon and stuff so it's quite that simple and stuff with this guy and stuff so yeah you can't really move anything and stuff so <laughs> That's unfortunately, but um, anyways, for comparison, why not? Here is with Nightbird right here. You can see he's actually a lot taller than her and stuff, so yeah. And here's his battle trap. I mean, I'm sorry, discouragement. So, um, if you guys like, I don't know which one's attached and stuff, but it doesn't really matter. So. You can put it on the back and stuff if you want to, but I think this will be a peg and stuff. I don't see it. I'm not really gonna do that, so yeah. Anyways, transformation. It's quite exact simple. So you wanna move this right here and stuff and um move this like like this and the, the gun back, you just move it like this. And Do that like so, and we got done with this. And you separate these two arms right here. Do the repeat the exact same thing from there, and and move the um, arms like this, and um, move them like this. Move them like this, and yeah, there we go. Here we got Freezer in his um robot mode and stuff. So um. And yeah, um, you can see um, some people are saying he kind of looks like friendly. Yeah, I can kind of see in the kind of dome and stuff. So some people are saying like they might retool this to friendly, but to be honest, I don't really see that. Honestly, I'm gonna be honest. Like, yeah, he's trying to do a boombox, but I don't know how could they actually do that with this mold. But um, if they're gonna make um, um friendly, they're probably gonna make a, a new mold of it. Anyways, here we got a uh, like Freezer and he's on um, robot mode. He looks amazing and stuff. So um not really much to say and stuff he's literally like a forearm creature and stuff so um let's get start with the head skull um the head skull looks amazing stuff like um i literally love the orange eyes he actually have the sharp teeth and everything um he's <laughs> look literally look like a crown and stuff so yeah um the neck right here not really much and stuff but um the head skull looks amazing and the back it's just simple and stuff hold on i just realized this thing is a separate piece is it can you move this? Oh, 
I do forget this guy like to fall apart for no reason. Okay, so I think never mind, I think they're just separate pieces and stuff. I think they're just attached together. Something like that. But yeah. Um the back, not really much talk about the back and stuff, so it's literally the exact same from the gun turret and stuff, so yeah. Um the chest right here looks amazing. The skull paint wise detail. I do love the the app he actually have for the skull of this guy, so it looks amazing. I do love that. It looked really nice. Now you guys know this guy had four arms and stuff, so um just like um general I mean, um what was that character name from Star Wars? Um Grievous or General Grievous, I think the name. That's what he, he reminded me of. But um but the arms looks amazing and stuff, like the sculpt, everything, paint. Looks amazing. There's more sculpt detail right here and stuff, some more paint detail and stuff, so um I do like the sculpt the arm. We're here the exact same and stuff. So you had another sculpting in the arms. I think this one's bigger than the the one. On, yeah. Okay, this one looks like more taller than the one on top. So it looks amazing. Like them, it's literally the exact same. We're saying they actually have more paint and stuff, detail and everything. Right here, quite the exact same. So um, you actually have some nice sculpting detail they did in this guy. The legs, you actually have some chicken legs and stuff. But um, you have some nice detail, sculpt, everything. Looks nice, and um, you can see some more details right here and stuff. Some more detail and everything. So um, some more paint detail on the foot and stuff. So yeah, and the back looks nice and everything. So I do love that. Uh, but yeah, not really much to talk about. I'm I'm sorry this review is kind of rushed because there's not really much to talk about with this guy. So for articulation, head on the ball joint and stuff. So this on a ball joint, same thing. And this can move like this. This one cannot move like. But the leg can move like this. Feet can move like this. Foot on the ball joint. But yeah. And now from um for comparison. Here's one of his partners. Battle trap. Would you have seen me do a review on this guy? So yeah. Um, I'll try to get Noble King in the future, but I don't think I'll get him anytime soon. But I'm um, scoreboard on. I might get him with on Clarence. Anyways, what I recommend this guy. If you guys really love the um of the Terracon, I do recommend him. But he's kind of the weakest out of the Terracons. Like um, um, Ben again. He's not meant to be that great and stuff. So yeah anyways hope you guys enjoyed this short video like i'm sorry like um like this video was short and stuff because there's not really much to talk about with this guy but um i do came with a review nightbird which maybe that may be the next review but anyways love share subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video so bye